Hi there and great to have you back for another episode of Snack Time. Um, today I am going to talk about the topic of listening and the importance of listening when it comes to your marketing. Listening is one of those skills that I think um, is important to have, you know, in life <laughs> as well as in business, certainly not just in your marketing. Uh, but there's a few uh, opportunities when we do use um, kind of techniques around curiosity such as, um, you know, when we go out and ask for reviews or testimonials or feedback um, or send online surveys or have focus groups um, where this is the, I guess, the skill of, of listening um, and then actively listening and then actively doing something off the back of listening becomes really important. So, um, I'll kick off by, by saying exactly exactly that in terms of of when it's kind of the most important time to listen in, in your marketing is when you're actually going out and, and asking questions proactively. Um, and I really encourage you to do this all the time because your customers and your clients and your stakeholders their opinion matters and you want to know their opinion. You want to know what they think. And regardless of whether you're a little bit nervous about whether they don't have the best thoughts about your business, better to know that they're having the, not the best thoughts about your business so that you can actually do something about it. Um, so it does take a little bit of bravery, but I can't encourage you enough to, to be proactive with asking the questions. So different ways that you can be curious about your clients and, and your customers and, and what they think and, what, and, and kind of trying to understand about what they need, how you as a brand can fit into their life um, is you can ask for reviews and depending on what industry you are in, there are plenty of free online review um, platforms that you can collect these reviews. Um, for most businesses, Facebook reviews would be relevant. For most businesses, Google reviews would be relevant. These are free platforms obviously associated with your page um, or your profile that you can activate. And, and I wouldn't say just turn them on, like actually use your communications to drive people to these review platforms so that you can actually get some of that feedback. Obviously, if you're in accommodation or hospitality or anything like that, you've got TripAdvisor, you've, you've probably got quite a plethora of, of um, review sites to choose from. And then there's, of course, all the plugins that you can get that you can actually install in your website um, and, and have, you know, the, the opportunity for your customers to provide provide feedback that way. Um, testimonials is, is another way that you can request feedback. This is a little bit more old school. This might involve um, actually going out to your customers and your clients and asking for them to provide a testimonial. Try and make that as easy as possible for them, whether it's just asking them some simple questions that they can conversationally provide answers to, and then you can actually, you know, write that testimonial for them and, and get that signed off. You can collect testimonials via videos. Um, or you can, you know, use a, an online survey tool to maybe collect um, people's thoughts and feedback about your business that you can share as, as well. Obviously, sending annual surveys or, or um, regular um, online surveys full stop is a, is a great way to collect feedback. And, and you'll probably get much richer data um, by actually going out and, and getting online surveys completed. Um, I know there's a lot of businesses that kind of send an online survey at, at the end of or at the completion of, of each transaction, um, whether that be a retail sale or whether that be a particular project, that's great. Um, otherwise, you know, something we do with our retainer clients, we send annual surveys and these take a little bit longer to actually fill in. But the feedback that we get from that is so valuable and the insights that we're able to actually kind of review and then, you know, do something with, um, super, super valuable. Um, and generally to, to, to try and encourage people to, to fill those in because they do take a little bit longer, we might incentivize those. Or if we've got a really, really engaged audience, generally they're pretty happy to spend the seven minutes or whatever it takes to fill those in. Um, 
The other thing you can do is just pick up the phone. Pick up the phone and ask your customers, have a conversation, take them for coffee, take them for a wine, you know, and, and ask them um, for some genuine feedback so that so that they can actually, and, and I guess give them the opportunity to be authentic and to be, um, you know, quite objective and, and, and be able to kind of, you know, if they, if they feel that there's an area for improvement, don't sit there and be defensive or, um, you know, be, be altogether unwilling to take that feedback on, you know, allow them to be comfortable to actually share that feedback and then have that open mind and that curiosity um, to, to be able to, to kind of really um, allow them to, to feel comfortable giving that. Okay, so that's collecting the, the feedback. That's actually going out and asking the questions. But whatever you do, don't stop there because that's, that's only like a small part of the process. The next thing that you need to do is to really listen and review and understand that feedback. Now you might need, you know, some, some third party assistance here to be able to kind of stand back and look at that feedback objectively. Because sometimes when it is your own small business, it's hard not to be a little bit defensive or it's hard not to be a little bit dismissive or kind of overlook the bad stuff and go, well, you know, what would they know anyway? Or um, oh, who cares about what they think it's only a small portion you know what, sometimes the constructive feedback or some of the negative feedback is actually where you stand to get the biggest wins because this could be a weak point. And do you know what? How amazing that someone's given you the opportunity to address that weak point because you might have completely overlooked that or this is, might not be something that's important to you as a business. But if someone has given you the feedback that this is something that they don't like or this is something that they can improve, listen to that and go back into your organisation and understand, is this somewhere that we can improve? Is this something that we can do? And even with the positive feedback, you know, really listen to that and understand, is that positive feedback, are there some trends? You know, are there some positive feedback that, that's coming in that you go, oh, wow, you know, this is not a message that we're communicating. You know, for example, um, you know, we've got several people who are actually talking about, you know, how fantastic they feel that one particular member of staff is or how speedily they find the way that we kind of action their, um, you know, communications or whatever it may be. Um, so, so this might not be something that you're actually communicating with your marketing. Take this as an opportunity to go, great, you know, maybe this is another message that we could, could be communicating with, with our marketing because it's clearly important to existing customers. So, so really listen and look for those opportunities. Look for that information that you don't you, you might not necessarily get if you're just looking at it yourself or, or if you're just turning internally. And that's, that's another way that you can look at some of the feedback and, and, and another opportunity to listen as well is going to your frontline staff, to people within your organisation and asking them, where, you know, where do you think we could do better? Where are the complaints that you might be getting from, from customers? What are the frequently asked questions? You know, what, what do you think on the whole we could be doing better um, in terms of showing up for our, for our customers? Because your frontline staff will probably have a really good idea of that too. So when you've, when you've gone and asked the question, go in with a mindset of we're going to actually look at this data, understand this data, and then do something about it. So the best way to do that is to, to review this, and maybe there's a few of you within the organisation that, that looks at that and reviews it. Document the findings somewhere, share the findings, and this might just be the, the main findings that, that you're, you're documenting, um, and share these, these findings with your team, particularly if you've gone out and asked, you know, or you're getting reviews about operational stuff, customer service stuff, you know, maybe it's even, you know, feedback about how you're invoicing or, um, you know, your financials. Um, are being um, delivered or, or whatever. Um, but make sure you share those findings within the organisation and then work out how you're actually going to action. 
some of the some of the findings that come out through your your survey so if you're getting negative feedback on a particular thing how are you actually going to change that within your organization if you're getting super positive feedback in in an area go out and congratulate and make sure that the team that are delivering that part of it uh, keep doing that you know and amplify that um, because that's something that you want to to obviously keep going um, then communicate with your with the people that you've interviewed whether that be your existing clients past clients or, or um, uh, you know a bunch of people who you've who you've deemed as your target audience that you've gone out and asked these questions to communicate how you're actually incorporating that feedback into your organization because this helps them understand the value of providing that feedback and it also makes them feel important you know you asked the question you've listened to their feedback um, and now you're doing something about that there's so much power in that so next time you want to to go out and ask questions and i i suggest you do that all the time make sure you're you're asking the questions make sure you're you're actually listening to the feedback um, you're sharing that feedback you're actioning that feedback and then you're actually communicating how you're actually um, implementing that feedback within your organization thanks so much for listening